with you. <laughs> Start of the second term here at Have a barbecue. The Keith Barclay over 4 3 27 East Geelong. They lead North Geelong 1 1 7. Foot in the ruck up against McLennan who gets it down. That was a trip. The umpire said play on for East. And they get the clearing kick towards half forward. Elliott came out, but he's surrounded. Hayes got it away to George. He goes with a kick out wide. It's okay. Foot handballs it quickly. And kick around the corner from Brockenshire. Goes wide, very wide, and out on the full. So Rich will take the free kick in the halfback position. He chips the ball over the top. Mays takes it. Plays on now. He just kicks along the line too. That's way too wide as well. It's out of bounds on the full. So George will take the free kick for out of bounds on the full. Both bound jump pipes sort of standing there at opposite ends of the ground. I don't know whether any of them actually signalled it was out on the full, but uh, it was nearly in the car well, park. The players knew. Yeah, the so. players knew. That's right. So George kicks it along the line and going towards a big foot. He, now it's touched over the line, so we will have a boundary throw in again. Foot. Big foot. <laughs> big foot. <laughs> big foot. The glove. Jeez, we're getting a few here. The hash brown. <laughs> going well. So a boundary throw in. The other side in between wing and half forward for North Geelong. King to the northern end of the second term. Eagles work it from the ruck contest towards centre wing. It's a two-on-one for the Magpies. Or well, three-on-two now with uh, Schwinnison coming across and also Vanderclay there. The umpire will come in and ball it up, though. Neither team can get in a tap away. So ruck contest. Tap down. Eagles again. And uh, that was Normington in the middle for East. Umpire letting play go. Now they have to come in and ball it up about uh, 20 players around the ball. Standard not quite as high grubby as Thursday at the moment, is it? No, not yet. No, no it's not. Match the first half. <laughs> so the ball from the ruck contest was Fanning. He's picked a punch, the umpire. Give me to East Geelong, I think. Yeah, he picked that out, but he did anyway. So the Eagles will take the free kick and they go from centre wing towards half forward. Can goes up. Good. Takes grab. the mark. This kid can yeah, play. He goes all right, Can, doesn't he? Yeah. So 50 out. He's got a short kick. Oh, geez, he set it up there. Oh, nearly a mark. No no mark taken in the end by, uh, He's by still got Hall. It. He's still going after it in the pocket, though, Will Hall. He might have run out of. Oh, he's, he's thrown that. thrown the ball. The umpire said play on. Still in the forward pocket for East Geelong. Left forward pocket at the southern end. Now it rolls over the line, so we'll have a boundary throw in. No addition to the score, and you didn't press the start button, Dale. Oh, it's not my job. It's oh, your phone. gee whiz. <laughs> minute give play. Him, give him one job. Grab a minute play. Second it. term, 4 3 27. <laughs> North July, 1 1 7. I tell you what, it's tough getting good help sometimes. <laughs> ball in the forward pocket for each. Along as we said, the ball was picked up, so it's Hayes that kicks the body, the ball around the body, kicks and the it goes body. outside. Yes, yeah, <laughs> shut up, you. Gee, I'm going to be peaceful next week. It's going to be great. <laughs> I reckon Neville and uh, Alan Moore will feel nice and easy going to the footy next week. They won't know what's coming out of the comedy rucks. It'll be all common sense. They're, they're actually playing footy here, you know, mate. Yep, that's right. Hash Brown's got the ball, and it's uh, it dropped the ball now. It's picked up there by foot. Handball outside. Hit, went to Hayes. He missed it. Handball comes back inside again. So it's East Geelong back into the full forward position. Matheson gets the knock away. Back towards, I think... Uh, who that was then, but it's picked up at the defence by Elmer. High tackles is the umpire. So Elmer, with the recipient of the free kick, goes out wide. Kick was okay. And Ooh, Runnels lucky. takes the mark. So Runnels now looking to go further afield. Goes short. Uh, went towards Swenison. He was good enough to go back and collect it. Couldn't get boot to ball. Mays put, did nicely. Took him off the contest. Goes back and wins possession again. And now he is bundled over the boundary line. And there will be a throw to take place. Both sides working pretty hard at the present time. Umpire about to restart it. Throws the ball back into play now. Foot front position. Taps it down. Fisher tries to collect it. But again, it's a ball that's not going to come out of the contest. John McLennan decides he'll push down and take the ruck work. Foot's also there. Thrown up again, both rough ones. They don't go out the contest, picked up and cleared away. And that was McIntyre into the uh, centre half forward position, but the mark has been taken out there by Hayes for North Geelong. He goes out wide to foot. He takes the mark. Still inside defensive 50. 
Needs to go long. Again, the options are uh, all small down there. George and McLennan. McLennan did nicely. Took the mark. Got the handball away. Went to McIntyre. Goes back on the left foot. Tried to get the ball out. Didn't do so, but it's uh, in the hands of Elliott now. Goes oh, into the middle. He missed his target. Picked up Toby Ryan. Gets through a bit of traffic. Should goes to Elmer. Elmer goes further afield to Fisher. Missed the target. Jeez. So Elliott goes back and tries to collect it and make amends. Fisher picked the ball up. Put it down again. Again low. This time picks the ball up and goes out wide to Mays. And he will take the mark. So it's an option over the top, a short by a handball. He decides to go back into the middle. Dangerous kick. Foot was okay. And it was a mark. Lapping now. Back into the middle of the ground. So East Geelong with a little bit of room now. They go out wide. Williams goes further afield. Or across the ground, I should say. Goes to Jacobs, who kicks the ball long into the forward line. But no one's standing there. It's foot. So both sides. I'm not too sure they're colourblind out there. But they're turning the ball over a fair bit. Goes back towards Hayes. And Hayes now takes the ball inside defensive 50 as Can stands the mark. He goes out long looking for Parker. He's up mark out the back ball. He's going to be picked up by East Geelong. So they have a chance to rebound here. And it's through Harding. Comes back inside. And the mark is also taken there by Williams. So he pushes and decides to transfer play straight across the ground. Dangerous kick. It's going to suit uh, Habib if he picks the ball up. It's in front of him. He can't do it. Mays is there. Got, tried to get the handball away. I think he just I think put he it just down. Dropped it. I reckon so it's going to be a free ball. kick there. And it's going to be a free kick to North Geelong. And Habib will be the recipient of that ball. Why would he have gone across the ground 50 metres to a contest backwards? That's a no-no. All right, some league players might do it, but that's why they're playing league football. Their skills are a lot better. You can't afford to do that. So Habib comes in. That's a nice that's looking a kick off the boot, and it has gone straight through the middle. So North Geelong have the first of the second quarter. They are now two goals, one. East Geelong, four goals, three. Just over four minutes played. Second quarter. Come on, Afeen Etel. Second quarter scoreboard. I don't know why he would do that. He, he's kicked it 50 metres backwards to a contest. Or it was two on one, and they got a free kick out of it. What's wrong with going straight down? Straight down the ground. Because you, you, you just can't. All it can do is come back to you. Can't come back through for a goal. And when they did turn it over earlier, North Geelong, all the players that I thought were going to be running down there, they were all bludgeoned around here on the wing half forward line. It's only in the second quarter. Back to the middle. Foot goes up, gets it down. Right there by the Eagles. Well, he was lucky too. Mm, to try on. Yeah. Came out from uh, Lappin. Oh, the umpire's going to hatch him here too. He Punched it too. up. He is too. And tackle on by George, so he'll take the free kick. Well, the first bloke came out with a don't argue and then got caught. That don't argue is your prior opportunity. And George picks the footy up. Goes back off his mark. Right in the middle of the ground for North Geelong. Looks like Nathan Lewis pulled. He, he does, doesn't he? Hell. Yeah, he does too. Even the way he moves. He goes it? short. And kick quickly by Runnels, goes long inside 50, should have been a mark to McLennan oh, he dropped gee. it at the back, Parker dangerous, can he kick it off the ground close to the behind post through the middle, Ryan is there as well Jacobs, does he see it over, he does yep. for a rush behind to North Geelong, so they go to 2-2-14 two, two, main trail East Geelong 4-3-27, they've been doing all the uh, attacking in this second term, the Magpies 7 gone Kick into the outer side is okay. Mays takes the mark, kicks it back in board. Normington takes the mark. Pressure. He goes towards centre half back. Rich takes the mark, plays. Oh, he played. He's on. gone. He's gone. Dropping the ball. And Ryan put the tackle on as he came off his mark. You have and to he, have awareness, don't you? You do. And he took the uh, free kick. He takes the free kick, Toby Ryan, at centre half forward for North Geelong. So. Good attacking chance. He goes short towards half forward. Not a great kick, but a bit of space for Brock and Shea to get it back. Towards Zach Schwenison. Kick around the corner towards the pocket. Fitzy with a big leap. Goes in the middle. Can't take the mark. Might fall back in towards him. Coming around. He loses the football in the tackle. The umpire says play on. Williams is there as well. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. And East Geelong will take the free kick. And they play on quickly and go along the boundary line. Left foot kick towards centre wing. Had to be good and was. Fanning took the mark. At half back. Is he called to play on? He is now. Kicks very close to the man on the mark. He goes into the middle. No mark taken. Might sit okay in the end. And the ball comes to Travaskas. 
for East Geelong. He goes high and inside 50. Hash Brown on the side of the pack. Kicks it off the ground right next to Matheson. And sees it over the boundary line for a throw in a left forward pocket. How long have we gone? Eight and a half. There's Second term. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong with their setup, North Geelong. They've only got the one big ruckman. The other blokes are forward. He's been off the. He hasn't been on yet. This is his first. Eight minutes has taken him to get on. And he was off at the end of the first quarter. 4 3 27. Uh, East Geelong. Mm. They lead ruckman. north. 2 2 14. So the ball thrown in, in defence, ball comes out, umpire now has paid a free kick. No, he hasn't. He's going to say, let's do it again, I think. Throw back in by the umpire once again. Is there anything wrong with that throw in? Right. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was all right. Mm. Well, I was sorry. I was watching Fitzy come off and da Davis go on. So the ball comes back and it's been knocked back over the band line once again. Seems some pretty good Oz kickers, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just about, just about to be uh, restarted now in that forward pocket position. It's all, uh, each along to come through the contest. Kick the ball back to the goal square, but Matthews, anyone standing there, goes back to Brent Swedison. Swedison out <laughs> wide. Will miss Zachman over the top. Needs to go and collect it. Unfortunately, the ball runs over the boundary line, and there's going to be a throw-in to take place. Yeah, about uh, 35 around from the goal square. Now the netball courts down the bottom. Oh, John John Florence won the surfing at Bells Beach too, by the way. Win it easily. Sandra yeah. Sully, Sandra yeah. Sully with the late news. Yeah. Good work. So the ball is picked up. Handball goes out the back. So each along with an opportunity to put the ball back to the goal square. Picked up by Lappin on the left boot. Goes back towards Brown. Matheson there. Ball goes over the boundary line. Another throw to take place. About five around from the behind post. The Mathos at home there when they're one-on-one -on -one in a situation like that, but if they get a chance to kick it wide on him, and that's what I think they should be trying to do, isolate him maybe and kick it and make him run. Again, the umpire throws the ball back in. A good throw. Jacob Foote taps the ball back towards the boundary line. Runnels over, runs it. Picked up. Normington couldn't get a clean disposal. Zach Swen has a bit of just a push and shove there. Goes to George. Handball goes over the top. Went as far as low of East Geelong. Kicks the ball back towards centre forward. This time Swen uh, slides in. And it wasn't a mark. It was Luke that time that uh, did that. But it's now being held up at the half forward line. And an umpire will come in and take possession of the ball. Umpire throws it up again. And again... East Geelong, they get the handball back inside. Target was missed. Luke Swinnison dives over the top of the ball. Picked up by Brent Swinnison. And umpire comes in again and says it's going to come back to him. They should change the name, I reckon. Not North Geelong, North Swinnison. North Swinnison. So Jacob Foote gets the ball down again. Goes to George on the right boot. Goes out wide. Will land outside the line. So free kick goes to East Geelong. And it will be low that will take the free kick out there. Not much defence at Thompson. 8 3 51. Thompson Belmont 8 4 52. Wow. <laughs> so the ball comes back in. Oh, and that was a good grab. Well judged. The mark has been taken in there. So inside distance, I would think. These long boys are saying to kick the goal. So Jack Elliott, not too sure. I don't think he's too confident kicking the distance with that breeze blowing across. Ooh. Kick from about 45. Hang it out to the right and let it take it back in. Kicks it goal. He's not going to get the distance. Going to land in the square. Yeah, but Jacob right Foote just stands there and he takes the mark. The big fella. Oh, he's going to play on then. Umpire's calling their player back. That's why we have a 10 metre mark there, Grubb. And we should have it right across the ground. So I can go 10, 20, 30, 40. And oh. Swenison takes a mark in the square. He's going to be pocket. on that, isn't he now? Oh. <laughs> Luke Swinnis and his oh! kick was smothered by Hash Brown on the uh, mark there and he dives up over the top of him. Oh, Again, he's put some kick. pressure on. It's uh, Support comes in the name of Zach Swinnison. Hey, Fitzy. <laughs> so we're going to have another ball up to take place. Still inside defensive 50. I thought he might have went under long. his legs. and They pay that a lot. And this one down the bottom here, I thought for that same thing too, but they haven't done it today. Normanton leads in the race for the ball. It goes over the boundary line. So we'll try and change things up here with Jason, but it's 4-3. To the East Geelong side, North Geelong are two goals, two. And the second quarter, coming to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. So throw in, Eagles into attack. Oh, he's missed that one. Won't be giving anything, anything of that one. And is that a mark? It's push. a push. It's a push. 
North Geelong will take the free kick. Good umpire. Come back to Killsby. Taking in the last line of defence. Oh, dangerous kick. I tell you what, to uh, Schwenison, who's turned it over to Can, who gives it, tries to get it back quickly. A couple of uh, tackles in there. Nobody can pick up the ball effectively. The kick was smothered. Now Matho comes at it. He can't pick it up. Marino gets the handball back. Normington off a step towards full forward. Zach Schwenison comes across. Pack develops. Kick over the shoulder by... Missed. Condon, I think it was. Yep. And through for one behind. The so Dom. Go to 4-4-28. Four, four, four East Geelong. North 2-2-14. Two, two, and that's on the Common Affino Hotel second quarter scoreboard. 14 and a half played. So Lou Parker, he decides to play on now and kick long. And he's going to bring the ball almost to the centre of the ground. Ball gets over the back of the pack, picked up there. He's too long, they have it, but they lose it in the uh, tackle. It comes out the back, ends up in the hands there of Rich, who goes back into the half-forward line, going back. The mark is not taken again, but the ground level, the ball's picked up. Can goes quickly into the forward line, but reading the play nicely it was Hayes, and he will go in and take he's the mark. He's been pretty good, lucky Hayes. Hang on, there's a free kick down the field now, is it? No, that must have been an infringement with a late tackle or something, was it? By the looks of things. So East Geelong now with a chance from the forward pocket to kick a goal. I don't know where that come from. I didn't see it. Condon, I think. The glove again. Yes. Uh, what do you got? The glove, big foot. Yeah. The clock losing idiot. <laughs> He's... <laughs> So Condon from the pocket, kicks it goal, and I think he likes it, and so do the players standing in the square. So he has his first goal of the afternoon, and that is the fifth now for East Geelong. They're 5-4, they lead East Geelong, uh, sorry, North Geelong on 4-4, and we have gone, who? 15 minutes, second quarter, Common Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Can you give them scores again, please? 5-4, 2, two. Okay, I thought you said North Geelong on 4-4, but anyway... Um, you know what? This I hate saying this about GDFL footy, but this has deteriorated from a pretty ordinary scrappy, scrappy game to a shocking game of footy. It's turned into a shocker. Someone's going to have to get out there, break the lines, get open, get some kicks, get some marks, because at the moment it's just packed football and it's horrible, horrible to watch. Davis goes up in the middle. McLennan gets it down. Elma comes off the line, gets around one, handballs it out to Fisher. Just back on the ground. He chips the ball to half forward. Ryan goes up one hand. Not going to take many of them. Gablet doesn't take many of those. Now Mays gets it out wide towards low. Takes the mark at half back for East. He goes short towards Hall. Takes the mark. Having trouble getting it into their forward line. Mm. Chips the ball back. Mark taken there by McIntyre. He goes across half back. Williams takes the mark. Looking for lap and short. He's covered though, so he goes out further afield to Elliott who takes the mark, plays on now, kicks wide, Rich takes it, they've moved the ball nicely east, now they go inside 50, ball up there, no mark taken, front and centre was okay, good tackle, North Geelong fighting hard for it at uh, the back, handball came out towards Lappin again, he gets around, douse it off a step towards the square, Condon, the glove takes the mark, he plays on quickly, up. turns around and kicks the goal. Well that was too easy. Waiting for the goal umpire. Oh, and only because the field umpire yeah. wanted to make sure. Fair enough. So he's kicked his second, Mick Condon, and the sixth for East Geelong. They go to 6 4 40. They lead North Geelong 2 2 14. And that is on the Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 18 minutes played. Oh, you two know. getting fakey phone calls all day. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say to McGrubby Head. I, I tell you what, that was. I, I, that was way too easy. Yeah, yeah, I called for some good footy. That's what we got. But North Geelong never looked like touching the ball coming in and down. The other thing is that big Jacob foot, where do you rest him? You don't rest him on the bench. You stick him at full forward. He's going to get plenty of rest at the moment there. So the ball picked up in the middle of the ground by Hoare and he goes into the forward line going back. Mark not taken out there, but they've uh, been able to look, or they look like they were going to convert. Normington on hands and knees, tries to get the ball out, does so, missed the target though. Lappin went back. He tried to pick it up, ended up in the hands of Swenerson. He was tackled high. And a free kick will go to Luke Swinnerson, <laughs> so from the centre-half back position. Just looking for some options now. Goes far side of the ground. 
I'm not too sure he's going to. Low looks like he's going to lead. Well, it's picked up there by Fitzsimmons. Handball's over the top. Has Balaki. He's uh, on the right boot. Puts the ball quickly. That's a better kick. Got the ball in quickly. Went to Ryan. So Ryan went one way, stopped, came back the other, went looking for a bib. Put a bit of pressure on, but it was a nice clean pickup. Handball's back inside to George. Got round the first tackler. His kick was smothered. So East Geelong working well back in defence. And Fanning goes back and collects it. Gets the handball away over the top. So from the half back line, they bring the ball out and they go towards centre wing. Nice looking kick. Mark is taken out there. And again, so East Geelong have moved the ball very nicely out of defence. They've got it towards centre wing. Not too sure what he's waiting for there, but the umpire's now called the play on. Bring the ball back in towards Dowsett. Handball's over the top to low. Low went further afield. Uh, target was mixed, but the options are there for them. They have the hand in Rich. Rich goes back to Nywaddy and gets the ball across the ground, looking for Hoare, and they will find him. So now he's in plenty of space. Continues to run. Takes to a second bounce. Looks for his third, but he decides to kick short. Kick oh. was good. Went looking for his brother, but he uh, put it down. He's tackled. Dropped the ball. Umpire saw that. And free kick goes to North Geelong. So Brent Swinnison, the recipient of the free kick. He goes short and up the ground. Fitzsimmons takes the mark. So he takes his run and now and kicks long. Goes out towards the half forward line. That's a great kick. Went through the hands of a bib. Then he fell over the poor luck and he's uh, been tackled. Umpire says that was high, so maybe he fell and did, it, did that nicely. He wins a free kick. But he's still outside their forward 50. Their options now is a big target. He's got to go in long and low. He goes low but wide and out of bounds on the full. So free kick will now turn over. Go back to East Geelong. And Jacobs looks like he's going to push down and be the recipient. His short kick. Okay, low. Looks like he's going to come across the ground again, Grubb, and put himself under pressure. Yeah. He has also. That was well, a good strong chase anyway. and tackle. Ends up in the hands of Lappin. Lappin got the handball away. Nye Waddy tried to force his way through. Got the handball back. Went to Lappin again. Little short kick was okay. Travaskas back to Lappin. They're mucking around with the ball, but they're going to get themselves out of trouble, are they, or not? Hawks got to spoil from behind. No, Brock and Sire read it nicely off the contest. He goes back towards Davis, and he gets stretches and takes the mark. You've got to get Davis it at Senar 4. His leads is on his foot. That's the direction he goes in. That's a good kick. That's Went out the back kick, of the contest. It? Umpire didn't call it. Went out no, the back no. to Mays. He got the ball further afield by hand. Now what he sits over the top of it, picks the ball up, tries to force his That's way through. That's holding the ball. He did. He did. Took him on, but it was allowed to go. Swenison tried to get boot to ball. Picked up by Rich. Handball ends up in the hands there of Hoare. He goes short around the boundary looking for low. Mark is not taken. They play on. He got back and collected it again. Went in the hands of Elliott. So Elliott delivers the ball towards centre wing. Brown comes up. Kills his right with him. But uh, Brown oh, boy, oh, threw, he threw, threw it that out of there. He threw it out. Oh, there's, a up, there's a trip. Oh, come on up. <laughs> and this time Jack Elliott. He is threw that out. Free kick. <laughs> So Elliot now looks back in the middle of the ground. Has a player by himself. Will it get there? Jacobs was the target. Went through. Picked up. And it was Fanning who took the control of the ball. Goes over the top to Lappin. Looks at forward, further afield. Short kick. That time Mark was taken. And it's Hoare. William Hoare. And he will kick for goal about 35 to 40 out. Almost directly in front. And try and bring up East Geelong's seventh goal. Steps in now, kicks a goal, and that's a uh, whale well offline and through for a minor score. So 6 5 now, East Geelong, 2 2 North Geelong. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. We have gone 22 minutes. So Hayes with the footy at fullback for the Magpies. Plays on now. Got Lukey Parker. Well. Well, he was going to look. Where he was going well, to go. look. Parker, but he ended up going to low in the end. Lappin got the handball for East Geelong. Now it comes to McLennan just back on the ground. His handball was uh, chopped off. Brock and Shear gets it. Oh, geez, he waited a long Took time a to long give it back time. to Hayes. He has to get the clearing left foot kick. Doesn't go too far. Runnell should get a free kick for a push front on push from Elliott, and he will play on advantage to the umpire. Parker centre wing plays on handballs forward to Morton. Now he's got foot over the top. He goes in that direction by himself. Oh, the big fella wants to play on. Yeah, he gets around. No home. He goes across the goal. And East along with the numbers there. Jacobs fanning as well. Jacobs does well. Gets it away to Rich. He goes out wide. Bit of space on the outer side now for the Eagles if they can move it. Over the top is Can at centre wing. And also Dowsett. He takes, well, he should have taken the mark. He didn't, but he's got some time. To butter up, Dowsett gets around a couple, does nicely. Now he goes back in board, kick. Oh, no mark taken there either. 
for East Geelong. Ball spills free again. Working hard to get it back was McIntyre. Now they get it out. An inside 50. Getting back Killsby. Good mark. No, umpire said play on. Didn't take it. Now they kick the ball East Geelong for a goal. So they stole the ball off Killsby who couldn't take the mark. And Elliott kicked the goal. So his second of the afternoon. And the seventh for East Geelong. They go to 7 5 47. They lead North Geelong 2 2 14. 24 played. Second term. Commonwealth Hotel scoreboard. A little bit stiff there, Killsby. I, to me, I would have paid the mark. I thought he held onto it for long enough, but umpire didn't think so. And East Geelong get another goal. They're just starting to get on top. When the. I think Big Jacob Foot made a big mistake there. He got the ball and he just he was that keen he wanted to go on, but there was no one home. In that situation you've got to go back, but maybe even have a shot from way out there, but wait till your teammates get back there. So Ruckman go out again in the middle of the ground. Elmer read that nicely off the contest. Goes into the half forward line. Better kick. And Fitzsimmons presents up and takes the mark. Goes back in by hand to Toby Ryan. Ryan quickly into the forward line. Over the back of foot. Where are the runners? They're not there. So it's not, uh, East Geelong that come away with the ball. Good chase there by Morton, I think it was. But uh, unfortunately, the ball comes out once again. Goes towards Runnels to put one hand up. Now there's a free yeah, kick. A bit of in. interference in the mark and contest. That's a fair enough decision. So it's, it's Runnels now. From a thwart of centre wing. Has to play on now by the umpire. Goes in low and flat towards Parker. Ball out the back once again. Again, numbers with East Geelong. They force the ball or take the ball backwards. But North Geelong now putting some pressure on. And it's going to be a ball up at centre forward. It will be as the umpire blows the whistle. Davis down there doing the ruck work. Fanning also. Ball comes out of the contest. Ends up in the hands of Elmer, who kicks round the body back towards the goal square. And East Geelong, the easy option. They take it through. That was through Williams. So North Geelong now to 2-3. And East Geelong on 7-5. To Grandy Cyclone Sports, second quarter scoreboard, 25 gone. So Nia Waddy, full back. Kicks it towards Ritchell. Ryan goes up, can't take the mark. His second effort was pretty good, well, though. Was he got better the than pretty Fitz good. Ends. And Fitzy's he's taken the mark. 40 out from goal on the boundary line. He's got to go back and just dob this, Fitzy. You've got to dob it, son. As the siren well, sounds. Now he's definitely got to dob it. So East Geelong will be 7 5 47. And North Geelong will be 2 3. 2-4, 3-3, or 2-3 if he kicks it out of bounds. He's kicked it pretty well. He's missed it, though, and threw for one behind to Dedek Fitzsimmons. So they are 2-4-16 at halftime. North Geelong, they trail East Geelong 7-5-47. Dale, goal kickers at halftime. Yes, for the East Geelong side, Jack Elliott with two, Ash Brown two, Condon with two, one to Sam Lowe. And goal kickers for North Geelong, Luke Parker and Mitch Habib. 7 5 47 East Geelong. They lead North Geelong 2 4 16 at half time. We'll take a break. Come back second half after this on 94.7 The Pulse. 94.7 The Pulse. 